What's going on all my toy collectors and Batman fans out there? It's your boy Ox and today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new 2023 Batman Crusader Batmobile by Spin Master and seeing if it deserves a display spot here in the Cave of Wonders. Alright guys. Okay guys, let's start off by taking a look at this Batmobile and the box that it comes in. Like I said, this is brand new. I just got this in the mail yesterday off of Amazon. It was about $20. I'm not sure if it's an Amazon exclusive or it's going to be sold in retail stores, but that's where I was able to find it at. Now, I've already measured out the box for you guys. It's 14 inches long by 12 inches tall by 4.5 inches wide. So that's how much shelf space you're going to need if you want to leave this in the box displayed on a shelf, okay? Now taking a look at the front, you can see the bat symbol. You can see it's called the Crusader Batmobile. You can see the Batmobile right there in the projectile that shoots out the front. And then you can see this Batman right here. I'm not sure if this is an exclusive Batman or if it's going to be sold on a single card or not. But this is my first time ever seeing this 4-inch Batman right here. Um, unless I'm wrong, someone let me know down in the comments, all right? Taking a look at the side, just the bat symbol right here on the back these right here i think are little standees that you can cut out and then you can use the batmobile to shoot at them with that projectile i'm not for sure but i think that's what those are you just cut those out and then this right here lets you know it has some kind of either um weapons vault in the back of the batmobile or maybe even like a little kind of jail cell to hold the villains until he gets them uh to arkham or not and this right here is all the little fine print which you guys can pause it and read up on it that right there's the barcode Taking a look at the bottom, I think this just shows you how to uh, cut those villain standees out and then stand them up. Like I said, I'm probably not going to be using those because I'm going to end up uh, just shooting at my figures. All right, let's go ahead and crack this out of the box. Okay, now here it is out of the box. You can see it comes with the Batmobile, comes with this four inch action figure, comes with this little projectile right here that shoots out the front, and then it comes with these little villain standees that you can shoot at. And I actually thought that you cut these off the back of the box, but once I rip the bottom of the box open, they end up sliding right out. Now I'm not actually going to use these, but I'll show you how to use them. Basically, you just lay it flat like that, flip it forward, and there's a little thing right here that you just tuck right in the back of there, and then just stands up so you guys can shoot at it okay and that's what you do with all of them lift it forward push that flap there's a little hole right there you just slide that through there and then it just stands up like that that way you could shoot at it now i'm not not actually going to use these so i'm going to set those off to the side and now taking a look at the batman like i said i'm not sure if this is an exclusive batman that just comes with this batmobile because i've actually never seen this spin master batman before and taking a look at them up close he looks really cool, looks tactical. I like how he has his grappling gun hooked to his leg. I actually have a custom bat suit that I made myself. I wear to Comic-Con here where I live at. And I actually, I didn't like having to try and reach up and try and grab my grappling, uh, grappling hook off the back right there. So I end up hooking my grappling gun to my leg. But yep, this is the figure right here. All your basic Spin Master articulation. But I like the fact that they painted the belt and everything different colors. So, but yeah, all the same articulation as normal. You know, his arms come up. They do swivel around, bend at the arm, um, bend at the elbows right there. His wrists don't rotate. They don't go in and out or anything like that. He doesn't have any kind of ab crunch. Legs come out to there. They do shoot out to there. It does have single jointed knees. His foot doesn't rock or rotate or anything like that. His head does swivel back and forth. But yeah, this is a pretty cool figure right here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Batmobile. This is that projectile. Like I said, it shoots out the front, which is kind of weird. I would have liked them to move the, the the rocket launcher or the missile right here. I would like them to move that somewhere else, not right in front of the windshield. But no matter what, this is a really cool looking Batmobile. And the price for $20, you just can't beat it. So let's go ahead and slide this in the front right here. That's how it is. That's how it goes in there. And then right here, you can see that bat symbol right there. That's what you use to push and shoot it, which I'll show you in a second, all right? But yeah, taking a look at this Batmobile, you can see all the little bat images right there on the wheels. And these are just plastic. They're not rubber, but they do look pretty cool. They have some little treads right here. I think they're like little, oh, I thought they were little bat symbols, but they're not. Just a little bit, little tread or whatever. But you can see all the different little bat symbols right there. You can see they have a bat symbol right here embossed right in the plastic. It has a total of maybe like six fins right here. Little fins. One fin right there. Fin right here. Fin right here. Uh, well, maybe seven because one right there. 
but yep i like that blue um the blue windshield this vehicle actually reminds me a lot of the arkham asylum video game batmobile the first one not the arkham knight but the arkham asylum with how short and slick it looks with the different fins right here maybe if these fins right here weren't there or something or these ones and it had one big fin right there but it kind of reminds me a lot of the arkham asylum video game and this right here is that jail cell which i'll show you guys figures in there but it just opens up there's no button you push you just lift it open and then it has a good amount of room in there i ended up fitting one of the bigger spin master figures in there and i'll show you that in a second all right and other than that it just pops open right here and it has a one seater right there and then this right here is to that jail cell uh that you end up sticking the villains in right there you can fit them through the back or fit them right in through here so and yep there's no stickers or anything like that that you put in there but there is some uh what is it uh little control panels and stuff like that you guys can see not sure if my light's picking it up or not now when you're fitting the figure in here when you're fitting other figures in here not spin master but i'll show you guys some kenner figures there's a a stoppage right there you guys probably can't see it but there's like a stoppage in there that stops the feet but only at the bottom if you go up a little bit with the feet it can go all the way in there but right here it stops and then if you go up a little bit with the feet it goes all the way in there but i'll show you that in a second when i show you it now i've already measured this out for you it comes out to 12.5 inches long from the back of this fin right here this little one at the bottom to the front and then it is 6.5 inches wide which is the widest part from these two fins right here and then it's 3.5 inches tall up to the top of this fin right here so that's how much shelf space you're going to need if you want to put this on a shelf all right guys and taking a look at the front right there like i said you don't have to put any stickers on here there's no kind of lights or anything that's probably why they kept it at the 20 dollars price point because if you guys remember uh the batman from the batman movie that batmobile had lights and everything that was about i think 35 dollars and it came with a figure but it had lights and stuff but no kind of projectile so i'm happy spin master finally added projectiles but yeah let's go ahead and show it shooting at someone real quick before i start showing you how the figures fit inside there all right now here we have bane now this thing doesn't doesn't uh articulate up or down so it's only going to meant to shoot up so when you push this button right here this little bat symbol that's when it's going to shoot out but like i said i'm not even sure if it's gonna it might shoot over bane oh nope it hit him right in the head but yep that's how the missile shoots out right there that projectile like i said this doesn't move up and down it's just stuck in that position so the figure has to be a little bit closer now i might end up unscrewing the bottom of it right here all these different screws because it's just hollow on the inside and see if maybe i can remove this um you know maybe buy another one to see if i can customize it and uh remove this out because i don't think this would be hard just to slide out and then maybe fill this with some kind of putty or something like that uh with some kind of molding putty and fill that spot in because i'm not a big fan of that rocket launcher being right in the front of the window right there it's like you know batman can only see out of the side windows so but you know, like I said, it's only $20, so it's worth, you know, taking apart. And if I don't like how it looks, I can just rebuy it, you know. Okay, now let's go ahead and pop it open real fast. Like I said, that's how you pop it open. Like I said, this is the Batman that comes with it right here. So let's go ahead and fit him in there first. Ends up sitting in there really well. No issues at all. Closes, not an issue. I'm sure it's the same with these other Batmans right here, the other Spin Master 4-inch Batmans. That's how it looks right there. No issues there. Now, let's try... This right here is that DC Comics Multiverse Michael Keaton Batman that came out from Mattel a couple years ago. As you can see right here, he's actually bigger than these 4-inch four inch figures maybe maybe four and a half five inch right here let's see if he fits in there like i said if you just put him straight down in there his their feet end up hitting the bottom of that piece and then it makes it kind of hard to close as you can see i don't want to like squish his ears but if you lift him up just a little bit and tilt him his legs end up going over that there's a hole that goes all the way deep into here and then he'll fit in there just fine like I said, this right here was that DC Multiverse from Mattel, the Michael Keaton Batman. This right here is an old Kenner Batman from the Dark Knight Collection. Like I said, lift him up just a little bit, slide his legs through that opening, then he fits in there just fine. 
Like I said, this is the old Kenner figure. Closes, not an issue. Okay, now right here is that Toy Biz Batman action figure. I think this is from like 89. Now with him, you got to bend him, bend his arms up a little bit. Same, I kind of had to bend his knees just a tad bit when I'm getting him in there. Lift him over. I'll end up shooting that missile. As you can see, like I said, their feet end up going in there. So he won't sit straight up. You kind of got to lay him down a little bit in order to get him to actually fit in there to where it will close. Because if you try sitting him up in the seat, his ears and his head are just too big. He, you know, it just don't close. You kind of have to squish him in order to get it in there. So he will fit, but it'll kind of look like he's laying down a little bit. Okay, now this is that little holding cell right here in the back of the Batmobile. You just push this fin up and it opens up. Now you can either slide the figure in there or you can do it right here through the canopy where it opens up at. And you can see there's a spot right there. You can just slide the villains down in there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do it both ways. I'm gonna use a bigger Spin Master villain real quick. That way you can see that he fits in there really well. Just bend his legs up. And just sit him down in there. And it closes with no worries. Or like I said, you guys can go ahead and just fit them through the back right here. Sorry if my light don't catch it, but yep, you can just sit them in there. And this is one of the bigger villains uh, compared to the Joker or Harley Quinn or any of them. And he just sits right in there really well. No issues at all that I noticed. And then it just closes. And then you can actually see him in there. So while the Batmobile is driving away, you can actually see the villains in the back right there inside that little jail cell. Okay, now here's that new Crusader Batmobile next to the first Spin Master Batmobile they released when they got the license in January of 2020. And these Batmobiles are exactly the same size in both length, in height, and in both width. As you can see, they're both the exact same size. And um, they both have almost the same features as far as the, um, the canopy does open. Like I said, this one has the benefit of having that jail cell in the back and actually has projectiles, which that first Spin Master ended up not ever having uh, projectiles. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Now here's a comparison of the new Batmobile next to the Batman, Robert Pattinson Batmobile right here. And taking a look at their length. About the same exact length, same exact height, and about the same exact width. Only difference is this one right here obviously has lights and, and features and stuff. Doesn't have any kind of projectiles, but the uh, Batmobile actually didn't have projectiles in that movie. But uh, like I said, it does have lights and everything. Uh, the doors do open. Like I said, not too much difference, but you can see why that one was about $35 and this one was only $20. Okay, and last from Spin Master, this right here is that new Flash movie Batmobile uh, from Michael Keaton's Tim Burton's universe, basically. And uh, taking a look at it, obviously scales a lot smaller as far as the height. It's a lot smaller than this one right here. As far as width goes, you can see it's... I'm trying to get a little bit better right there. It's not as wide as this new Crusader Batmobile, but it is just a tad bit longer, only because of the fins. So when you measure it up to there... The fins do stick out, so it is a little bit longer, uh, probably by maybe a half an inch. So it's actually longer than the Crusader Batmobile, but it sits lower and it's not as wide, basically as bulky as the new Batmobile. So I would still say this one's bigger, it's just not longer than this one, only by like a half an inch. Now here's that new Crusader Batmobile next to a couple other ones from different toy lines or different cartoons. That right there is the Batman cartoon from 2003, and as you can see, it's actually a little bit, uh, a little bit bigger than that one in both width and length, but it's not as long as this one right here. This I think it's called the Power Attack Batmobile, or as long as uh, I mean the body length is the same as the Legends of Batman Batmobile, but the the fins on the back make it a lot longer. And that right there is the Superpowers. There's an up close look at the front. Okay, now last comparison. This is that new Batmobile right here next to some other ones. That right there is that new Adventures uh, Batman animated series. This right here is the Arkham Knight. Like I said, this reminds me a lot of the first Arkham Asylum Batmobile. Just the, the, the blue windshield and the way it looks. That right there is the Batman Missions. And that right there is that Spin Master. Now, the new, this new one right here, as you can see, it's not as long as these other Batmobiles, but as far as height and width, it does fit in scale with the rest of them. So it's definitely earned a spot here in the Cave of Wonders with the rest of my other Batmobiles. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and uh, leave me a comment if this is something you guys think you're going to get. And I'll leave a link to uh, the Amazon where I ended up buying it from down in the description below. All right, guys, stay cool.